Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman on behalf of Kensington and we're taking a look at their KP400 keyboard today. This will connect up to a PC or Mac via USB cables just like any other keyboard would. And we've got it right now connected to this USB-C hub and my MacBook and I can just start typing here like I would on any other keyboard. But what's unique about this is that it also has Bluetooth built in and I've already paired it up with my iPad wirelessly. So if I hit Control-1 on the keyboard, uh, this will switch over to Bluetooth mode. And if I start typing now on the keyboard, it will now start writing things out on my iPad wirelessly via Bluetooth. And if I hit the key combination here again, it will switch back to the PC. And you can very easily switch back and forth between your mobile devices and your computer to get the keyboard working where you need it. Now to use the keyboard with a computer, all you have to do is plug in the included USB cable into the keyboard here on this end, and then plug the other end into your computer and then start typing. It's as simple as that. And what I recommend you do for connecting up a phone or a tablet to the keyboard is to first unplug the USB cable, uh, flip the keyboard over and make sure, first of all, that you have some batteries installed in the battery compartment here. It takes AAA batteries and they are included in the box when you first get the keyboard, so you're good to go there. Uh, then what you want to do is push the uh, on switch here to turn the keyboard on so it works wirelessly. And then using a pen or a paper clip, push in the pairing button on the back of the keyboard to put the keyboard into Bluetooth pairing mode. You'll know it's in that mode because the Bluetooth light will be blinking on and off. You can then go to your mobile device and begin the pairing process, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. On the iPad and iPhone, you go into Settings and then select Bluetooth on the left-hand side, and what you'll see is the switchable keyboard showing up there. You click on that, and then the keyboard will be paired up and you're ready to go. On Windows PCs and tablets, you go into Windows Settings and then select Devices. On that screen, you'll have an option to add Bluetooth or other device. You'll need to make sure, of course, your PC has Bluetooth capabilities. If it does, you'll see this option for Bluetooth. And when you click on that, uh, you should see the Kensington keyboard show up on the list. You just click on that, and in a second or two, it will be ready to go, and you can start typing wirelessly to your PC. And on Android devices, you just need to enter the settings screen, go over to Bluetooth, and then look for your keyboard on the list of available devices. You tap on the keyboard, and then it will begin pairing to your phone or tablet. On the Mac, you'll want to go into your system preferences and then select Bluetooth from the list. Your Kensington keyboard will show up if it is in pairing mode. You click on connect and then you'll get prompted to type in a code and all you have to do is just go to the keyboard, type that code in and then hit enter and when you do, your Mac will get the keyboard connected and you can start typing away on it. Now, once your Bluetooth device is paired up with the keyboard, whenever you switch out of USB mode and into Bluetooth mode, it will automatically connect to that device again. However, if you wish to connect to a different Bluetooth device, you'll need to repeat that pairing process. For Kensington, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.